I've been thinking about this recently, right? But I don't know if any of y'all have experienced this, but sometimes there's just anime where even if they may not be my favorite necessarily, I remember the exact point in time I was watching them in the exact setting. And this is something I can't even say were some of my favorites. Most of these memories are from when I was younger, of course. Um, and I think the reason that is, is because I still had a allure or whatever to discovering anime at the time, especially more niche stuff that I was, I was watching, you know. At least for someone who was like 12, you know, the, like Kisses, and I think the only normal one I really watched around that time was Toradora, like Kisses, Kojika, Papa Kiki, Bigata HK, like Shimonetta, all this stupid stuff, and I can remember when I watched all of these, um, I believe I watched Toradora, like, downstairs on a couch, like, I just binged it, it was sick that there wasn't more, and I was looking up if there is gonna be second season, cause, you know, this was, like, pre-knowing how anime industry works, you know, I was like literally a middle schooler, I was down bad, I remember watching the Akisora OVA, yes, very specific, um, I remember watching it in my grandma's computer chair, um, around the same age, on a summer day, and probably the most notable, the anime Sola, which is one of my favorites, I remember watching the whole thing in one go, on a rainy early morning, um, some summers ago. It's been a while. And I always kind of think about these moments. And I kind of realize. I've never really had moments like these. Recently in the past few years. Now. I wouldn't exactly say. There's anime I've watched where it wasn't memorable how I was watching them, that's definitely not the case, like, it still kind of happens, but, I wouldn't say these memories stick to me, like, when I think of the anime, like, when I think of Sola, I think of when I watched it on that bed, on that summer, you know, rainy morning, where I had just pulled an all-nighter, and I was like, nearly falling asleep watching the, the show. I don't really have that. I think maybe, like, the last one I can kind of think of is... I remember maybe watching Anonatsu in bed. But, like, that's not really cool. Like, it's just it's not impactful. I don't think of that when I think of Anonatsu or anything. I think it's just come with the territory of, you know, the more serious I get about Annie. You know, you're just binging it, watching it, watching it. The memories with them feel kind of blurred. Which, I guess in the end of the day, that doesn't really matter. But the environment and memories surrounding 
whatever media it is you're consuming can be like a detrimental factor into how memorable it is for you or how you'll remember it. So it kind of sucks to not have those moments anymore. And it kind of does feel impossible since, I mean, back then I was just discovering these anime. Now I can just go on my anime list or whatever, clear my, you know, plan to watch. And while I admittedly wouldn't have it any other way, I kind of feel like the magic is gone. The magic left as soon as I started databasing, honestly. Don't get me wrong, I love, you know, crime and anime, and I'll never stop. I mean, it's low-key, like, what I live for type. It's how I feel. But... Since it's almost kind of like nearly a second job, you know, watching three hours every day of Annie. It doesn't exactly feel like something fresh or new anymore. Sometimes I just wish I could relive those memories of being a middle schooler and watching these random anime again. However, time moves forward and there's not really much of a reason to like get into, you know, the the nostalgia crying, the nostalgia weeping about it. That's pretty much all I have to say though.